Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm Guoren, and I'm from Alibaba Risk Five Ecosystem Team. And today I would uh, give a pre uh, talk about the RV64 IOP32 ABI. Yeah, that means to run the IOP32 data type software on a uh, Risk Five 64 bit ISA hardware. Yeah, it's it, it's an old topic, but new to the Risk Five. Let's have a quick recap on the this popular APIs. Uh, traditionally, we have the 32-bit API. Actually, that means RV32, IOP32. And we have the traditional 64 APIs, such as RV64, LP64 API. And then this topic is, uh, and, and, and the last is the today's subject of the 64 IOP32. And the difference between them is uh, the 64 IOP32 Two with the six, uh, 32 LP32, the difference is only the ISA difference, but they have the same data type. And the, the difference between the six, 64 LP64, the, the only difference is the data type. They have the same ISA. So 64 LP32 64 LP is standard, the, these two ABI's middle. Yeah, so it's combination one. And uh, the, here is our work. We have Okay, uh, we have two. We, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We, we, I know, uh, when, when I raise up why that's the motivation discussion. So, I, I, our agenda is we have two, two parts the uh, motivation discussion and the implementation discussion. And, uh, and I would, I would answer you in that uh, discussion. Okay, so. Okay, okay, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's direct, uh, okay, Let, let's, di okay, let's give it a slide. I mean, okay, you, you, uh, I just show you how, how the work is, yeah, what we have done, yeah, that, that, that's it. We, we have completed the user space and the kernel space, the signature I think uh, all, all, uh, all people here in the room know, know what's happening, yeah. So we skip that and directly move to the why, yeah, why, okay, okay, what do we say? Oh, why, okay, so. There have been a lot of uh, 64 IP APIs, such as X, uh, X86, X32, and MIPS N32, and ARP64, IOP32, all existed. But uh, none of them succeeded because not widely used. Most of the use, usage uh, maybe just for the extreme benchmarking. Yeah, We have talked about this many years ago, 10, 10 20 years, maybe. OK, it's a long history. But uh, it's just like uh, magic. Events that's a it's a term to the risk five. Yeah, uh, that's a, I I need to explain why we need to do that, uh, because there are a lot of time mem time memory time memory device come out with the RV sixty four ISA. Uh, this chip is very hot in uh, they are delivered and shipped very widely, and uh, they have a lot of people use that such as. Uh, the Milk Fight Door and D1S and uh, and the OX64. You can find that in the YouTube. It's very hard. Uh, a lot of people use that, and uh, the they all have only 64 megabytes uh, memory. Okay, so this vendor asked me, how can I run IOP32 on that? So 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 that, that that's my so so I know you 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 question why these people need, need IOP32. Okay. Why, why do you need the 64 bits? Yeah. So I so I, I, I so I I know I, I'm the okay. So, go ahead. Okay. Okay. Uh, can can I continue? Okay. Okay. So I will I will explain. So you have uh, so also uh, 
So one, when I introduced our processor, because we only produced the 64-bit ISA processors, we didn't produce 32-bit uh, ISAs. So when we ask my customers why they need IOP32, so I also needed to figure out what's the what's the reason of that. So so I I try to do that. I make some measurements, try to explain your question. Yeah. Firstly, we tried uh, uh, we tried a tiny configure of the Linux kernel. Uh, a tiny configure with the, just the 16 megabytes. This is a use case, and we found that that the the uh, the RV64, IOP32, cost more than 25 percent of the memory cost, memory for print cost than the RV RV uh, RV LP RV64 LP64. Yeah, and uh, and uh, we this we use the tiny configure, and we also remove some. Uh, 64 special configure to make them. You look. You you can look at the bootlog. They are line to line equal. So they have the. Um, we, we just want to make the similar. The uh, when you compare the 64 bit and the 32 bit. So when when you when you when you, when you, when you compare kernel into the IOP 32, you will got better memory footprint. So that's uh, maybe that's one reason. One reason I found, and the second is for the extreme benchmarking. I mean, if you have IOP thirty two, you have better data data density. You have a better cache utilization, and you have a small data workload such as the four twenty nine. This benchmark, the input data is cut down into eight megabytes. If you use LP sixty four. This input data is the 1.7 uh, gigabytes. So, so IOP32 is smaller and uh, in, in, increase the data density. Yeah, and we uh, and uh, this, this picture show you how the in, improvement is. There is the positive imp improvement, and uh, you for uh, and I also get some negative improvement. Yeah, you go ahead. Years on the various different ILP 32 like IS, uh, ABIs, right? X32, ILP 32 on ARM. Um, every time spec came up, we basically laughed and said, if you see an ILP 32 spec benchmark, you're going to ignore it. The only people who don't ignore a spec benchmark with ILP 32 are those people who don't know. But any customer who knows, is not going to take an LP32 benchmark because they're going to say that's not the real ABI that I'm using, <laughs> right? Uh, I think the situation in the RISC-V is different because RISC-V don't have the existed uh, traditional 32-bit ISA ecosystem. That's the problem. And uh, in ARM in the x86, you have a very strong and robust 32-bit uh, ecosystem. So people, it's hard for pe to people to change from uh, to to build another new. A 32 uh, bit ABI because this takes a lot of hard work. But for the RISC 5, there is no existing hardware. So our 32 bit ecosystem are, are just a startup. And uh, who is the standard ABI? 64 IOP 32 or 32 IOP 32. So it's very different from, from the x86 and the uh, and, uh, and okay, you can have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Intel X32, like the X86 X32 mode, 
only for sex to be used because you get better results in the With X32 mode, then the leader is probably for 32 bit data. Finally. And it's MCR, which is dead anyway. So, yeah, who cares? Okay. It's also the only reason why we, why people try to push it in ARM. And we, it took us a long time to fight back, but we did not merge it to the kernel. We are very lucky that we did not do this. <laughs> okay, so I, I used to work for Randy where I wrote the last one time. Uh, I know why you know, Intel was telling us to use X32. Uh, and the reason it's got nothing to do with extra registers and things like that is PC, PC Rolls are addressing. Android by default is ASLR, part of the FLX2, and uh, next thing is X32 is lacking a, a PC Rolls interface, so I just don't do that everywhere. The, the estimates I have are 10% performance loss because of uh, WX and losing the register. So X32 is freely for existing with Android, I don't think it's just one of the things you can use so that's not an that. Um, and and the, the reason that X32 happened was because of PC loss and that's not a correct register. But I, I like your concerns about memory, memory footprint. You know, in the amount of enzymes, you have to press pointers and things like that. Maybe this is not even the first question. I think for the memory per, uh, the footprint, if you, uh, if, if you use the IOP32, it's significantly improved. Yeah, And uh, and for just the 64, look here, our products also with the very tiny uh, tiny memory. And uh, if you uh, if you use the IOP32, you, uh, you will get the advanced uh, Okay. Uh, so uh, here, uh, so here is uh, uh, we we try to convince our customers to change from the ARM32 to the uh, RB64 because they constantly use the IOP32 before, and uh, and we tell them that IOP32 could run on the RISC-V64 properly. So they okay. Okay, if you use the RB32 could run properly, then they would try to move to the RB64 because for the memory footprint, mostly for the memory footprint. And we also told them if they change it from 32-bit ISA to the 64-bit ISA in the next kernel, you will got a lot of uh, uh, benefit from the uh, other side, such, such as 64-bit uh, ISA could improve the memory copy, Perform the uh, memory operations, and and here is the comparison between the uh, tradition uh, 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 load word and the uh, uh, double word, and uh, they, they are significantly improvement. And the second is EPP object. If you use the 64 bit ISA, you you would have the proper EPP JIT implementation. Yeah, and uh, that would be faster. Yeah. And, uh, and another thing is the 64 IOP 32 have a better atomic 64. And uh, from our practice, pra practice we found that uh, RV64 IOP 32 uh, uh, could uh, share with LP 60, could share with the traditional 64 bit implementation a lot of code. We can share the code, we can share the EPPF implementation, we can share the, a lot of stuff. So just implement. I, when we talk talk about RV32 bit, we should need to separate them. One is the RV32 bit ISA, and one is the IOP32 data type. Actually, I I also agree that RV32 bit ISA should go away, but the IOP32 data type there there is a software scenarios. Still, a lot of people need the 32 bit uh, uh, software usage. So that's my opinion. There's already no software to support either of these right now. But using IOP32 and RB64 gives you more flexibility. You can do get the, the double wide registers, and you do get you know, double wide comics, and you do get double wide you know, stuff in the kernel, as opposed to RB32, where you get none of that. I think the most, the biggest point about this is that it's not a lot of rails. It does not have any major rails in the system. We don't produce any 62 ISA 
hard work. And uh, and uh, and uh, that's why we why we do this job. And uh, and we now we have finished the Fedora RV32 because we implemented the compact mode. But uh, but for the kernel side, for the M mode and S mode, we still keep the uh, 64 bit ISA. And uh, and in the fit and we have finished the Fedora. Fedora have could run properly with the 64 IOP32 kernel side and the compact mode with the user space. And now we are working with the total 64 IOP32 uh, 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 ecosystem. And uh, t t this year's goal, we want to deliver Fedora 64 IOP32 distribution first. Uh, maybe this, this is the first the total 64 IOP32 distribution in Linux. The other part of the code is okay. either IOP 64 or 64 on the same hardware format. Or RB32 hardware format. We have UXL now. Yeah, I've been with the. What is the point that this is for hardware and it's 90? You don't have a federal hardware Actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this hardware, I'm what I mentioned is tiny hardware, right? Right, correct. But uh, um, yes, I didn't find the uh, scenarios in some high performance hardware. Maybe some high performance hardware, maybe just for the extreme benchmarking. Yeah, maybe for that. But uh, most of uh, our requirement is from we, what we look from is from tiny. Uh, memory hardware, but don't look down at this kind of companies. They are massive companies, and they will grow up. Next year, maybe they will uh, produce some. If everybody uh, wants to do it, then put in the kernel. I'm not going to say anything. Just give my own opinion. Just a lot of just different things here. I think um, running out of people to user space on 64 bit hardware in general is a very sensible thing if you do it on ARM all the time. It is very useful for having small memory systems. Um, if you can run the normal 32 bit user space with the appropriate, with the existing tool chain support, there's there, PSP, whatever, go ahead to it on the 64 bit kernel or on 32 bit kernel, doesn't matter. 64 bit kernel supports it. Do the same thing on all the other architectures. Do the same thing you do on ARM. Do the RPC. That just works. Okay, but not long. <laughs> okay. So there's one minute left. Okay. But a new ABI is a huge maintenance cost for the tool chain for user space. Don't be stuck in Like user space, having a third ABI is a cost that nobody should pay for. And we, we try very hard to avoid it on ARM. And it wasn't going to take on MIT and it wasn't going to take on x 3 We should never have done this with the tool yeah, yeah, we have a team working for it, so don't worry about it. We are working on it. Yes. Okay. So, so I finished. So that's what we are doing. We are let the thirty-two beat. Yeah.